Good morning, everyone. Uh, ask you to take your seats. We're about to get started. Well, welcome to the Scott Hammer an Annual Update on HIV Management in New York City. Um, we're all here because of IAS USA. I know everyone in this room is familiar with the fabulous work they do and the many educational activities that have been critical to everyone's learning and development. We want to thank them for, for hosting this and bringing everybody here today. So I'm Elaine Abrams. I'm actually not a professor of medicine, but rather a professor of pediatrics and epidemiology at Columbia University. And I'll be one of the moderators today, along with Rafi Landowitz, from, who's a professor of medicine at the University of California in Los Angeles. So um, I want to take a moment and talk about this particular meeting which has been renamed in honor of Dr. Scott Hammer, and it is dedicated to his, his legacy. Um, there may be people in this room who had the privilege of knowing Scott Hammer. He was the chief of infectious disease at Columbia University, which is where I met him and had truly the privilege of working with him and being guided by him. He made many critical discoveries around the virus and treatment. He was a formidable force in guidelines development. He was a unique and sensational mentor who um, nurtured generations of physicians and scientists, and his legacy really lives on with many of the speakers you'll hear today, as well as within the field of HIV and infectious disease in general. So welcome to IAS USA's first post-CROI update course. We have more than 200 attendees from multiple states in the Northeast, mostly from New York. Um, thank you for those who uh, tried the, to complete <laughs> the pre-activity knowledge and practice assessment, all 91 of you, um, and 1% uh, of you passed, which is great because there are lots of opportunities for learning over the course of the day. Um, you're probably all aware of the CME uh, information. ISUSA is accredited by the um, ACCME, and um, it's a live activity with a maximum of six AMA um, PRA Category 1 credits, and you'll have information about how to obtain those credits. Um, the activity's been approved for, as I said, up to six CME credits, and as you see here, um, credits by other organizations. We need to thank and recognize the supporters, in particular the platinum supporters of Gilead, um, Gilead, Merck, and Vive Healthcare, as long as, as well as um, other supporters of this activity in IAS USA. Um, all of the speakers have been asked to disclose their financial relationships um, with ineligible companies. You'll see that noted in their slides. The PowerPoints will be available after the course, and handouts are available in the modular, modular e-syllabus book. I think I turn to you now. Here we go. I was on a roll. Thank you. Thanks, Elaine. And again, well, let me add my welcome to Elaine's. I'm Rafi Landovitz from University of California, Los Angeles. Please don't hold that against me. Um, 
I grew up on Long Island, so I always feel like I'm coming home when I'm in New York. Um, so uh, I'm going to ask you all to pull out your cell phones right now and not check your social media, but instead scan this QR code because this is the link to the Slido platform. Many of you may be familiar with it, um, but it's the platform that we're going to use both for the audience response questions that will be peppered throughout um, today's presentations and also be a third, what are the first two you'll ask, I'll tell you in a second, um, mechanisms for asking questions after each presentation. So you'll notice there are some microphones um, in the aisles. That will be one mechanism for asking questions. Um, there will be US USA staff circulating throughout the auditorium with question cards. You can actually hard copy, if you're old school technologically, write down questions, imagine, um, uh, and we will be happy to answer them. And you can also use the Slido platform um, to include them also. If you are, don't have a phone handy and are on a laptop, you can also go to slido.com and enter that code number and you can do that similarly on a laptop. It doesn't have to be on a phone. The QA tab and the polls are at the top of the web page, um, as you can see in that little purple bar that's demonstrated there. Okay, so we're gonna practice. How fun is this? Okay, so again, if you missed the QR code, it's still here. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything. You can still scan it along with um, the website and the ID code. Um, but we're gonna do this practice. And you know, again, this is just practice doing the polling, nothing more exciting than that. Um, but did you attend the 2024 CROI conference in Denver, Colorado? Go ahead and respond. And depending on who's speaking, you'll notice a change in the music. Wait for Dr. Sag. He's got the best music. Okay. Wait another hot second here. Okay. So, really, 97% of people did not attend. Well, we're really glad you're here. There was a lot of exciting stuff at CROI this year. So um, hopefully this will be um, a really helpful update for everyone then. Um, okay, second one. Have you attended yet, before today, a post-CROI update? Go ahead and vote. See, if the music people knew me at all, it would be Broadway show tunes, but. And if any of you have recommendations for things to see this week while I'm in New York, come find me at the break. Okay, let's see how we did. Um, so about half um, said no, uh, and half basically said no, but this is my first cry update. Excellent, uh, good work, and about 7% of you have been to one previously. That's terrific, okay. So we do have um, about 15 fellows in the audience today, at least registered. And we always like to acknowledge the trainees who come to this course because they are the future of the profession. So fellows in the audience, do you mind just standing for a second so we can salute you? Great. Thank you, thank you particularly for attending, and we hope this is helpful to you also. Okay, um, just very briefly, this is our agenda for today. Hopefully, you know, you all have this in your syllabus and your packets, um, but we're gonna start today um, with an update on sexually transmitted infection uh, prevention from Hyman Scott from UCSF, um, including um, uh, some updates from CROI in, in, uh, in that topic. Then we're gonna have a Q&A for him. Then we're gonna have uh, Sandy Springer from Yale University uh, talking to us about the management of substance use disorders, particularly focused on opioid stimulants and alcohol with also some updates from Croy peppered in there with Q&A. We'll then take a short break. Paul Sachs from Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School will be giving us key updates from Croy that are not being covered in other topic lectures, so don't worry, it's not going to be redundant. And if you've ever heard Paul speak, he does this amazing rapid fire lightning round kind of review of everything you should have seen at CROI but might have missed at CROI even if you were there. So please don't miss that. 
um, Q&A after that if you have questions for Paul. Then Mike Sag from University of Alabama at Birmingham is going to do cases that are going to be wide ranging and we'd love to hear your thoughts and challenges um, associated with these cases. We'll have a panel of the other speakers discussing them um, and their nuances, um, but we'd love to engage with you as we do that. Then we'll have Q&A for Dr. Sag before we break for lunch. And then in the afternoon, um, we have Matt Feinstein from uh, Northwestern University talking to us about statins in the management of people with um, HIV in the post-reprieve era. If you're not familiar with the reprieve study, you will be, and some recent guidelines that have updated, so that will be very timely. We'll have Q&A with him, and then P Priscilla Shu, um, currently of University of California, San Francisco, stay tuned about what I mean by that when you you hear her speak, um, talking about hypertension and cardiometabolic issues in people with HIV, really disambiguating this question of whether or not some of our more modern antiviral agents are or are not associated with hypertension and cardiovascular disease. We'll have a short break, and then we're going to have a really exciting presentation from Suman Srivasa um, from uh, Mass General about the GLP-1 receptor antagonists, particularly with, uh, in the context of people with HIV. Obviously, a tremendous amount of interest in these agents clinically, a lot of people demanding them, um, and uh, really just some really exciting emerging data on what they can and cannot do for people with HIV. We'll have Q&A with her. And then I will end the afternoon um, talking about long-acting agent, long agents for both treatment and prevention. And then we will close. So that is a brief overview. Hopefully that's not a surprise to any of you. Um, but we are then going to start with our first presentation.